welcome to your reading. I hope that this message finds you while you're in good health and good wealth. Hope you're doing something that you love. Let's see what Spirit has for you. If you want to follow me on social media, donate to the channel or book a personal. Links will be in the description boxes below or my about tab. We're going to start with some angel numbers. To start off, we have angel number 610. Your energy is being aligned with God's and your soul's purpose. You're doing the right thing and following the right path. So for those of you that have been overthinking, are things working out, are things in alignment, the results do not reflect the truth, right? The numbers don't reflect the truth. The results don't reflect the truth. You are on the right path and you're in alignment with spirit. We also have angel number 397. Your experiences are reflections of the energy that you are aligning with. Let yourself connect with what lights you up. I'm only a bit shocked because, yes, that's like, what are the odds? But I, I did a prayer before this reading. And I, my prayer was just to, like, let God lead it, you know. Confirmation for me, too. <laughs> Um, angel number 824, your angels are shining a harmonious light on your current situation. Know that peace and serenity are close. We still got a lot of reading to go, Virgo, so I'm not going to jump to conclusions, but it looks like you're on the right path and you're in alignment. There could be a lot of change happening for you in your life at this time, maybe recently. But this is change for the better because both of these cards are looking forward to the future. There's endings being accepted and plans being created for the future. They're looking ahead. Expansion is near. The tower is out first. So there's a lot of unexpected changes, actually. You could have been going through things that are just not the most comfortable to experience, but definitely something that's realigning you and your purpose. Radical change. Destruction. Things falling apart. Foundations that you put a lot of your time, effort, and energy into that are just, they need to be elevated. They need to be evolved, right? Sometimes that means people got to go, and sometimes that means people got to join. Um, we also have the Queen of Swords. You're on a mission, Virgo. <laughs> You're in control of your life very strongly. You're not letting anyone play with your energy. You could be the catalyst, look, the emperor, as I say that. I'm not kidding. No, you're definitely in control. You're in your power, you're in your truth. Strong boundaries are being set, but it's not just like, I need my space. It's like, I'm taking my space. I'm taking my freedom. I'm taking my future into my hands. This vision, whatever's falling apart, it's because I want it to fall apart. I need change. That's what you're showing me. And you're willing to do what you need to do in order to create that change pretty much. So I don't know how unexpected this tower moment is, but looks like it's something that you are <clears throat> more than down for. Virgo energy with the eight of pentacles. You also could be dealing with an Aries. Maybe a, I believe, Scorpio. No. Is it Tower Scorpio? I cannot remember. Death is Scorpio. Yeah, the Tower Scorpio. I trust my gut. But with the Eight of Pentacles, yeah, this could have to do with work. Some of you could be getting into a new work environment with the Three of Cups, a new job position. This could be have to do with the home, right? Um... I don't know. There's something that you're changing in regards to your routine or maybe the people that you usually find yourself surrounded by. You're being a bit more like in your truth or in your power. What I mean by that is like you're trying to put yourself in better situations or better environments for success. Five of Wands with the Tower. Yeah, because something wasn't working. So what's falling apart or what's falling out of your life, falling to pieces, stressful, chaotic environments that you used to find yourself in. 
you're being realigned to something more peaceful, more stable, less com conflicting with where you're at. Queen of Swords, Four of Cups in the reverse. This is something you've been wanting to do for a while. Remove yourself from this environment or remove these energies from your environment that weren't working for you. But it's something that you've struggled with actually doing. We have strength on the bottom, four cups reverse, queen of swords. You're doing it now and it's bringing you into an energy of more like um, emotional satisfaction. <clears throat> but this is something that was not easy for you to do. This could have to do with a love situation. Look, six of cups, could be cutting someone, cutting communication off with someone with the Eight of Wands reverse. But we got the Six of Cups, the Two of Swords, super confused about a connection, Two of Cups reverse, and the Strength. This is something you were dealing with for a while, probably. Going back and forth with yourself and your mind. It doesn't have to necessarily be love, but it feels like that. Two of Cups reverse, Six of Cups. You take it as it resonates, but... This is something that was not easy for you to let fall up to change. It wasn't easy for you to accept these changes. But you persevered because you knew that it was going to bring you more into your power. And that's exactly what it does. Show me the emperor. The nine of cups. Your power. Not anyone else's. Your happiness. There's, there's an energy being removed from your life. Or that will be removed from your life that is going to bring you peace of mind. It's going to make you feel very emotionally fulfilled. You might have wanted it to be gone, but you just let it stick around for who knows why. But the moment it's gone, you're going to start to see like that needed to happen. Eight of, eight of Pentacles. I hate when I look at them, I'm like, I can't take that. The Eight of Swords and the Five of Pentacles. To me, this feels like somebody who, it's kind of like a restart. It's like a start from ground zero type of vibe, but work your way up to the top. <laughs> the Eight of Pentacles, the Five of Pentacles, and the Eight of Swords. You're definitely entering a new reality or a new time period, a new perspective where it's like you're in control, but because of something you have left behind or you are leaving behind, you might feel like there could be some financial difficulties or there could be situations and things that you have to kind of like figure out for yourself. And these aren't things like I got to figure out how to love myself. No, it's like real life physical things in the 3D. I gotta figure out how to pay this bill, that bill, take my kid to school, get a babysitter, all this, like, you know? These are things that you're just gonna have to, you're just working through, or you're figuring it out. How you are going to fulfill all your needs and manifest your desired reality while dealing with the consequence of change. Consequence is not bad. Consequence is just the result of. So you're figuring something out. There could be kids involved if you look at this card. She has a kid on her back. But you might feel a bit stuck in a situation, in a bind. Like, there is no, like, it's just not so simple. You can't just work harder and everything will be fixed. It's like, it's not that simple. There's other factors involved. Show me this Three of Cups. The Queen of Cups. Ooh, we have the Nine of Swords reversed on the bottom, Six of Swords upright. Yeah, when I say you're entering a chapter of more peace and love, I really do mean it. There's better connections. There's going to be support that comes to your aid in regards to everything in your life because this support comes from the heart, right? So it's not going to be like they're coming to help save the day financially or help save the day with your mental health. Like, this is just going to be support from the heart. So... It'll translate however it does. But these are good connections. This is celebration, happiness, fulfillment, your heart feeling open, confident, secure. 
The connections and people you surround yourself by are more, far more important than the money that you have in your bank account or your external environmental factors, your living situation. Like the people that you find yourself surrounded by have so much more influence on your state of well-being than like anything else, right? So I do see you coming into alignment with people that actually can meet you where you're at, see you for who you are, accept you and love you for who you are and support you. But to start all this off, you're getting out of an environment that cannot do that for you. These people don't have your best interest at heart. <laughs> These people are looking out for themselves, if anything. Or they're teaming up on you and whatever, right? In the center of it all, I love to see it, right? The Emperor and the Nine of Cups. For Virgo, this feels like you're not in your head too much. You're doing your best to stay out of your head, actually. You're just stepping into your power. <laughs> like you're owning the, the influence, the value, the um, energy that you have. And you're letting that, you're letting you put you first, is what I want to say. You're letting yourself put yourself first in a way that is genuinely fulfilling and doesn't make you get in your head. Because we also have the Nine of Swords reverse and the Six of Swords. You're moving towards peace, peace of mind and a more peaceful environment. You could be doing this in a more discreet way because what you've let go of, you don't want it to create confusion. The past could be looking for you. Even if it did come around, it would just offer you the same BS and prevent you from expanding in the ways that you want to and it would keep you guarded. But I don't think that the past is even gonna be able to touch you <laughs> if it is looking because I think you've evolved and I hope that this past we're speaking of is a past version of yourself, Virgo. I don't literally mean your ex-girlfriend, boyfriend, husband, wife. The past can be whatever, but in this reading, it feels more important for the past to be an old way of you existing where you used to allow yourself to be in environments like this. Chaotic, struggle, you know, conflict, conflicting environments to who you are. If that past version of you is done settling and done subjecting yourself to what doesn't feel right to you, if that past you is gone, then it doesn't matter if the past people come back because you have changed as an individual, right? So you wouldn't let them back even if you wanted to. King of Pentacles, you're bossing up. Yeah, show me where Virgo's going next. We got the Magician and the King of Pentacles. One more. And Ten of Swords Reverse. Um, you're definitely drawing wisdom from your past painful experiences, but I think you're more so just manifesting your best life, right? You're not giving up on yourself. You're not closing the door on yourself. You're just closing the door on a part of your ego or you're shedding a layer of your ego and it's really setting you into this momentum of freedom, this energy of freedom. And you're stacking your bank strong. You're getting big money. You're about to start getting big money or create more stability, I want to say. King of Pentacles, Magician, Ten of Swords Reverse. You've completed cycles that not a lot of people would have survived through. Nine of Wands, but you persevered, Virgo. Page of Pentacles, one more, Six of Wands, King of Wands, the Hermit Reverse. You might have to get uncomfortable in this chapter. You can't be the Hermit in this chapter, right? To the core, your archetype, you will you will always be the Hermit because you're a Virgo. Um, or you have Virgo in your chart. But in this chapter, you're going to have to be the King of Wands. You're going to have to be the King of Pentacles. You're going to have to be okay being seen with the Six of Wands. You're going to have to be okay accepting or being open to new opportunities and getting out of your shell because you have the magic to do it with the magician. You have many talents, many gifts. You have the confidence to take you wherever you want to go in this life. So you got to get un uncomfortable in that sense, right? You have to be something more than you've allowed yourself to be in the past. Something more expansive, more loving, something that holds more space for the new. You about to start winning. I don't know why they got this. They got all these white people on all these cards. I, I see one Indian dude. And they just got this black dude on the six of wands. What the fuck is that about? 
<laughs> I'm kidding. It's just funny. It's just funny. I guess they have a little bit of all races in these. Okay. This is the only black person I see. <laughs> That's funny. But no, okay. So you're elevating. You're growing. You're outgrowing your old self. What do we got? A wonderful idea. The aha moment. You're about to have a big breakthrough. An important end and a new beginning. Yeah. This important end comes at literally the beginning of your reading. Fear. No. From death comes rebirth. So spirits saying the same thing over and over again. Aloha to healing. Can't get any more clear than that. So that Oracle deck is telling you what it is. <laughs> Like, things are changing. Things are ending. And while you're going through this transition, Virgo, there's going to be that period in between that old thing ending. Look, change. Spirit, tell Virgo again, just so they can get it. Healing. <laughs> That's funny. Union and power. There's going to be that awkward period in between where it's like you trying to figure shit out, right? Eight of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, Eight of Swords. There's going to be that period where it's like you feel like you know, uh, no. you know exactly who you are, what you're capable of, the power you possess, but you're still building the vision, right? With this Eight of Pentacles. You're still, you know who you are. You know what you want and your worth, but you're still building the vision. So it's not that anything's lacking. It's that you're putting things together to create your absolute abundance. And that's why all of this love starts coming in towards you with the Queen of Cups and the Three of Cups. Because you're putting in the effort to love yourself how you treat yourself, the world will treat you like that as well. <laughs> it's funny. It's funny how that works. All right, two more. So if you love yourself, you're going to see it. We have exploration, seeking new ways to do things, exploring new territory and justice. Yeah, so you deserve all these blessings that are coming towards you, Virgo. There's something different that's happening in your life, and it's a result of you no longer telling yourself a story that limits your ability to feel good in your environments. You're telling yourself a story that forces you out of environments you do not resonate with. Because you know you deserve better. Prosperity. Virgo, you finna start winning and transcendence. You are literally on the rise. Your community is gonna help you a lot. We have renewal. Virgo, it's saying the same thing over and over and over. And gratitude, one more. Happiness. It doesn't really matter where you're at right now, Virgo. Take this with a grain of salt, but take this as encouragement and motivation. It doesn't matter where you're at right now in this moment today. You could be feeling like absolute shit. But when you go to bed tonight and you wake up tomorrow, you have a brand new opportunity to do things in a totally different way. To tell yourself a totally different story or to at least shift the little things in regards to your perception of your reality. To help you feel encouraged enough to go out and get it, to go out and manifest something better for yourself. Nothing is going to fall into your lap in this world, right? We live in the same, we live in the same place. Um, yeah, you're, nothing's really free. Even the things that they say are free, they never really are free because everything's energy. And ex if you want something, you have to exchange a part of you. In this sense, Virgo, whether your life is on top of the world or the opposite, you have the ability to exchange the energy of your perception with the universe. Tell yourself a different story so that you can see things in a more positive or uplifting out, outlook. And it might make things a little bit easier. It's not going to fix all your problems just if you tell yourself you're going to be successful. No. But if you can see your situation as oh, I got to go to this job again today. Like if you can see it as like wow, I get to go to this job today. Like, there's so many people in the world that do not have a job. The cherry on the split. Like, if you can do those little things to help yourself feel good about yourself and, like, love your life, 
It does make all the difference in the world. Ten of Wands reverse, the Two of Swords. Knight of Swords reverse, the Page of Wands. Nine of Wands reverse. Ten of Pentacles reverse. You know what you want? You just gotta be confident enough to go out and grab it, go out and get it. You gotta convince yourself that you are, yeah, I don't, you don't gotta convince yourself of nothing, right? If you want something, you will be able to put yourself in that energy of, I am going to be prosperous, right? Affirmations are important. But beyond I am affirmations, right? I feel, I know, I want, right? Like you, you gotta get creative and specific with the universe because the universe wants to give you everything that you deserve. What I'm seeing here in this reading, like and we're just in the Oracle card, so it's just like me just talking right now, but like what I saw in that reading was um, a lot of, a lot of uncomfortable change at the beginning, at the start. But it was only in regards to environments that you just knew were not for you or that was a struggle for you to exist in. That's changing. Spirit's preparing you for something better, for something different. Preparation and ghost in the reverse. Spirit is making, Spirit's pulling you out of environments that were just stale. And now you're in this like anticipating energy because you know things are changing, but you don't see the outcome yet. Balance. One more. Night in reverse. So everything that is not seen right, right now, it's going to come to the light. There's a reason that spirit is, um, well, I personally think there's a reason for everything, but there's definitely a reason that spirit is pushing you in this, in, in this unfamiliar territory, right? And getting you ready because what do they call that? The calm before the storm. It's like everything's different. Nothing really makes sense. It's all foreign and it's too peaceful, right? We're all so used to clinging on to these narratives of our past that have hurt us. And we carry those around all day with a smile on our face. You can't convince me otherwise. I've talked to who knows how many fucking people in my life. <laughs> like, that you can't convince me otherwise. We all carry these wounds. Some are better at hiding it than others, but Spirit's literally pushing you into an environment where you feel genuine peace, where things feel good. And it might freak you out and it might make you overly anticipate what's to come. Spirit wants you to just keep focused on staying grounded and balanced because it's a yes. What's to come, it's a yes. Everything you're feeling, it's real. Everything you're transcending into, it's real. Focus on higher truths at this time, the things that matter. Don't try to overthink what is your future gonna be, da da da. It's time for you to break some addiction. This could be addiction of any form. Drugs, alcohol, overthinking, toxic people. You're being addicted to toxic relationships, right? It's time for you to experience rebirth so that you can access clear thinking. Next card, embrace meditation. Spirit wants to bring you into peace, but you have to become peace in order to experience peace. You have to become love if you want to experience love. Spirit does not just drop butterflies, rainbows, and sunshine out of the sky for people that can't see those things. If you can't see happiness, it's gonna be hard to actually find it. <laughs> it doesn't just come out of nowhere because you co-create your reality with the universe. I'm saying this with love. It's kind of coming off harsh. Stability and equilibrium right there. Stay balanced because the new is here. You know what? I'm gonna get you one of these cards. On the split, the sun, the new is here. But I'm gonna get you one of these. It better go. On the split. Card 29. Some of your life paths could be 2, 9, maybe 11. What's that called? Master number? But you got three, so some of your life path numbers could be three. Mine is. I like three life path number. That shit is cool, because I, I resonate. Obadiah, Obadiah. 
I don't know if I'm saying that right. Obadiah. All right. <clears throat> Let me read to you like the librarian I am. Do not turn away from your path, nor from what you know in your heart to be true. No matter what appears to be, nor what logic may dictate, trust what your heart is telling you. You are safe and protected by spirit. You're spiritually empowered with all you need to manifest your authentic soul path. You have what it takes to connect with the light and live that connection in practical ways, which contribute positive energy to our human collective. Obadiah is the Latin basis for the word obedience. Far from conforming to authority, the original meaning was to listen, to hear, and to not turn away. The oracle of Obadiah is about becoming a sacred rebel, giving up faith in the ways of the world and embracing the ways of spirit unconditionally. That means refusing to torture yourself with horror stories that society and your own mind conjure up from time to time. I talked about that. Those horror stories we tell ourselves. Because it makes us feel validated. It's like, oh, this world's so fucked up. Oh, I have a reason to be pissed off today. Uh, it's like, we tell ourselves those. It's like, that's not really doing that much for us, though. If we're genuinely sitting with it to understand it so we can, like, feel it and heal it, yeah, it's, you got to sit with that. But holding on to it just for nonsense, just so we can feel like we're a part of the fucked up world, there's other ways to feel like you're a part of this world. There's other ways of love, you know, light, positivity, joy, happiness. There's other perspectives that we can embrace that don't carry, make us carry a chip on our shoulder. This guidance is encouraging you to connect through your heart with the spiritual light, wisdom, and guidance within. The oracle asks you to believe in the power of spirit to show you the way through all troubles. There is a message from our loving universe for you. You will feel it in your own heart. <clears throat> you may consider yourself to be a feisty, independent, strong person rather than one who is docile and surrendered in spirit. A vibrant and powerful personality may feel initial resistance or confusion when asked to become soft to the ways of spirit. Yet this sort of obedience is not about giving away your power or becoming someone you are not. When we are receptive to spirit, we become more unique, not less. This oracle asks us to get out of our own way. Often we make things more difficult for ourselves, even when our intentions are good. This is because we see things from a limited or partial perspective. This doesn't mean we should refuse to act at all. It just means that as we practice sensing and following spirit by tuning into the heart, we will act from a more centered and wisely guided place. Our actions will be more likely to hit the mark. When we flow with the greater wisdom of life, far-reaching positive consequences awaken. I told you, consequences are not negative. It's just the outcome type of thing. Recognizing that spirit is wiser than your own personal opinion is the prelude to true awakening. The more awakened we are, the more genuine benefit for all beings can unfold through our endeavors. To be clear, the guidance of this oracle is not to hand over your power, nor to seek out spirit to tell you what to do. It's always up to you to exercise your free will and live your life as you choose. Sometimes the responsibility behind such freedom might seem too much, but this is our task as human beings, to own our freedom and exercise it with wisdom and delight. When you trust your courage more than your doubt, you will be ready to listen to spirit and act on what you perceive. You will be capable, willing, and ready to live as a light on this earth. You're also encouraged to ditch the drug of doubt, break addictions, get out the ditch of doubt, fear. Doubt undermines your confidence and sends you on a mission to gain approval before making every decision. Approval can become the hit that alleviates doubt temporarily, but it prevents you from building the strength you need to listen for your own spiritual knowing. You have it within you to be spiritually sovereign. This oracle asks you to recognize your inner potential and to practice trusting yourself and your capacity to respond to life's unpredictable happenings with soul-honoring integrity. That's what I got for you. Spirit wants you to trust yourself more than you seek out answers from others. Spirit wants you to um, stop holding on to things that you know aren't serving you. You're just holding on to them because you don't know anything else. Break free. Transcend. You have prosperity coming towards you at this time. And it's all up to you how much of that you receive from spirit. How much space do you have in your heart? How much space for new love, for new experiences do you hold in your heart?
to actually embrace this prosperity, Virgo. And that's between you and spirit to talk out, <laughs> you know? But that's what I got for you. I, if it resonated, hit the like button, drop a comment. Um, don't be shy, Virgo, because y'all be shy. And you know me, I'm stubborn, so just take it, <laughs> take it a grain of salt. Love you guys. I'll see you soon.